Hi everybody, how are you? How are you my darling Doris? And here you are, You've, I'm going to take this card and I'm using the Romance Oracle deck by Dora, Doreen Virtue and also <clears throat> I'll be using the new car, card deck, The Phantom. Okay, um, I would like to say not only thank you for liking and subscribing, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, because half of my viewers haven't subscribed yet, and please let us grow the channel. Just hit that bell and then click subscription and hit the bell, and then if you don't want to get notified, then click on private. Also, what I would like to mention is uh, for any of your favorite channels, um, please refresh your subscription because the algorithm is chucking people out that do not f uh, frequent the channels so make sure that you just check <coughs> excuse me whether you're still subscribed to your favorite channels and if you are then refresh that subscription unsubscribe and then resubscribe and hit the bell preferably on all then we can see that you have joined we can see that in the back of the office we can only see your comments and um, who has become a, a, a member oh so i'm going to do something special i think i'm going to make uh, i'm going to shout out who's joined every week so if you would like to have a shout out of, of appreciation then let me know okay so um, thank you if you would su subscribe because it means a lot for the creators as well they know that they are appreciated it doesn't cost anything you don't get funny emails it's just subscription and it, the the videos and your membership will be stored in your library and then you can look back at all the readings that you have watched so you'll never miss out now the romantic card that is the um uh, the querent card because every uh, other card is going to lead out from this okay romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so don't doubt your intuition if your intuition is saying in that you fancy somebody and then uh, and ooh, um, it's going hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> somebody's saying that hammer hammer uh, well, you're coming in with the nine of pentacles so yeah you're going into a new phase of luxury perhaps more love more uh, you could be spending more money or they could be spending money on you a new beginning awesome okay beautiful a more voluptuous life wow and we've got the empress so that could be with uh, with a uh, libra and the empress represents libra again a new beginning a time for fertility uh, the time is fertile you could be getting pregnant if you want to get pregnant then this is the time to get pregnant perhaps you already got pregnant in libra as we are in scorpio now and mercury retrograde has gone direct um, but it still has the tail end perhaps you've been saving up to get pregnant because children do cost money or to expend the house or move let's see whether the cards um, are going to show us that you're moving or buying a house um, also there is a new project you will be planting you could be planting new seeds or you've already planted seeds and they could come to fruition you could hear of a birth this could be of a child or of a new project the knight of swords you could be dealing with a gemini libra or aquarius again official news this could be coming the third week if you are buying a house then together or moving in together you could be drawing up legal documents like uh, what is what and who's who you could be signing up uh, prenuptials this could be the marriage certificate coming through the post or uh, making it official receiving signing contracts that is marriage as well or other sort of contracts you also have the ten of swords i'm sorry Taurus, but you know it doesn't always have to be bad just wait and see what the other um, cards say I'm using the mystical moments to clarify now the ten of swords could be that you feel stabbed in the back you've got um, <clears throat> you are going up from nine to ten 
and there is a new beginning so for those that have gone through a divorce there could be a new partner coming in a libra or a, an air sign uh, you will get money obviously from the divorce um, and usually you do a settlement um, so this could have been a really hard time so if for those because i'm reading for singles uh, married uh, living together couples so you could feel that if it's gone sour and you're separating then yes i don't know why i said moving home but you could be moving in together because you've got the money or you find you're going to start off on your own again perhaps a single parent because she is carrying a baby perhaps you are carrying a baby and they didn't want children that could have been the cause of the separation but remember this can also be somebody stabbing you in the back that is jealous okay okay whoa and you've got a little star here and she's dropping the star so yes something is not quite right let's see justice yes some of you could be going through legal uh, things and could be going through a divorce but you could also be legalizing your partnership getting married romantic feelings your, feel, your feelings are real and worth exploring well i think you're exploring again you've got the libra the libra the empress is also lying underneath it this could be marriage as well the registrar office uh, doing uh, legal documents receiving the news after um, three weeks in the first week you might be doing something legally like uh, signing uh, get, asking for a loan and in the third week you could be receiving the answer okay now also you could be you're definitely in balance if you're going to get this money it will make life easier you've also got the knight of pentacles so that means taurus virgo capricorn uh, you could be partnering up with marriage okay wow some of you might have got a job that is um, that is tangible durable and for long term this is really has to do with the relationship um, that this relationship will be for long term okay but now you could be getting married because you've got the job you've got the um security the earth you're solid with all your feet on you feel solid you don't feel as if you have to be tight with money now weddings are expensive okay let's have a look you've also got the nine of wands the nine of wands yes you've been through difficult times um hard times if you're going through a divorce if you're not going through a divorce you could be arguments and having difficult financial times material um perhaps you might be difficult uh, to get pregnant but now you are pregnant and you carry the scars used i hear stretch marks so um you've got two nines here so awesome watch out for nine nine something could have happened on the 9th of september because that's the ninth month again that is close to libra but we do have virgo here um where else no that's it that's virgo okay so virgo libra time could have been the time of change for you um in romance something is going to last now don't give up now okay don't give up now this late in the game i know you've been through the wars difficult times financially or emotionally because we do have the mother figure here um and um divorce is never um uh, nice so you could have been turning to your mother for advice or a woman that you respect or an advisor um a legal advisor a bank manager a real estate agent you might have to start up on your own again well the nine is an ending the beginning is here don't don't shut yourself away you've got the four of pentacles um, if you've been spending money then this is a warning 
tighten up the purse strings if you've been holding on to money now you can let go because money is coming in you can buy that house legalities um, are behind you justice will be done you'll get what you deserve and so will the other so if you are moving home i haven't seen it yet um or if you're going back to mum for the uh, for the time being that is the right way to do it but don't um you see the house here so perhaps you've been saving out uh, for a deposit on a house so now open up come out of your isolation be happy time will heal we all have our ups and downs life is not a bed of roses because we've also got the thorns and those are the scars that we carry so carry them in pride because you've gained the wisdom and you've gained the experience the life experience you are mature and you are not an apprentice you're not a beginner at the love game by the looks of it you know what you can expect but you know how to defend yourself now especially if somebody has stabbed you in the back okay come out and play open your heart open your solar plex open that mind look at this this looks a bit like my website picture and the steam coming out of her head that's thinking that's rem to me that represents thinking so have a look at the website because this is a new deck of mine recently um but also the clouds or steam is coming out of her head so open your mind open your new ideas put them into the real world beautify yourself put yourself out there you're gorgeous everybody's gorgeous except for people that have done wrong obviously they like murder or anything like that um, but everybody's beautiful and it's the inside that counts the most i find but the and the eye wants something as well so take care of yourself beautify yourself yes i wanted to put this back into the deck because it's the three of swords and yes you have been hurt but the news is coming and it's good news definitely what with something for long term tangible and durable there could be you've got so many people here nurture yourself time will heal don't isolate yourself don't hurt yourself by isolating come out to play let that in it innocent child out like the ideas the subconscious this is also she's got the hands right in front of her solar plex open your solar plex and your heart to love life and laughter okay you've got the hierophant again that could be a, a father figure that, or a mature person that you respect you could be seeking advice um, but also this could be a, a, a real estate agent a lawyer an advocate you do uh, there is legalities here or authorities buying a house prenuptials again this is the high priestess so you could be getting married marriage is definitely in the cards this week for all of you um, perhaps you might be getting a proposal for marriage perhaps you might be getting married next year in may or in uh, end of september um, in libra time okay you could be a june wedding because we do have the air signs all the air signs okay but libra seems prominent um taurus gemini you've got the night of earth and the night of air so there could be also um, um a, a taurus a capricorn some of you could be getting married in january end of december a christmas wedding that's rather sweet starting the year healed and fresh let go of the past heal your heart by opening it up and letting the inner child come out okay we've got the page of cups you could be pregnant like i said this could be news about pregnancy if you are pregnant now then it could be um let me see 
it's November, then it could be a Cancer, definitely. Uh, the Page of Cups is uh, prominently Pisces, so you could be dealing with a very sensitive, loving, passionate person. Okay, that's the water signs. Okay, listen to your intuition. Like I said, open your heart, your open your, your, your intuition, your mind, your solar plex, that's the emotional chakra. Okay, step away. If, the, if somebody has stabbed you in the back, then they're not real friends, okay, or partners. Trust is gone, and it's very difficult to gain trust. But this could be the marriage guidance counsellor as well, if you do want to give it a second chance. Like it says, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Perhaps you have shut yourself off, and that is what was wrong, okay. Now, news about a child, news could come from a child or somebody younger. Again, pregnancy is definitely on the card. You've got the Empress again. Okay, wow. And having such an empathic child, a, 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 what do you call it? Uh, a Cancer. Beautiful. I love Cancer. They're gorgeous. Well, everybody's gorgeous. Like I said, it's the insight that counts. Now, Taurus, don't give up. You've come so far. You've been fighting to survive. You've been fighting. I have seen it in the readings. I've seen it by your reactions. You are beautiful. Maintain the beauty, okay? Maintain the love for life and birth. Look at that. In this card, she has the pregnancy. Here she's got a bulgy tummy, and here you can see the baby. Something new is starting. This could be a child, a birth, this could be a job, finally getting the money so you can buy the house, be together, spend more time doing things together, flipping houses or something like that, or even um, making, building or doing a, a, up a room to welcome the new baby. Okay, this could be working together, starting something new, something beautiful. Also, you've got the 3333, three, 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 so watch out for that um, number, uh, angelic number. Okay, beautiful. Now, the angel feather is sticking out. Wow, this is mind blowing. Green, healing, yes. The green angel feather is also the heart chakra. That's uh, Archangel Haniel and Archangel Shamuel. So call upon them. Open your heart. Heal your heart. You've got the heart twice here. And this is the heart chakra. Restored health and healing. Also, green is the earth, the nature. So boom, and you are earth. So ground yourself stand with two feet on the ground okay also green is money space you need your own space you need a sacred space perhaps you've been living with mum and um, or with a, a person mature person like a mother figure this could also be a friend and it went sour so you need to get out of it, of this situation and you had to lock yourself away in a room or something you had a part of a house because you can see the part of a house here and you felt stifled and trapped wow this doesn't have to do with your partnership this could be that you're living with parents in a parent parental home you have to start somewhere together and make a go of it boom the healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health they send healing rays of green light and they will assist you or a loved one to heal physically or mental conditions wow ah it would drive me crazy if i had to live with my parents as much as i love them um, I, it you need your own space you need to develop to grow to be nurturing for yourself and be love yourself take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else 
So learn from this reading, take from it what you like, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Have a beautiful month, and um, I hope it resonates with you. Also, please like and subscribe, and perhaps this is food for thought to talk with somebody, getting advice. Uh, perhaps you've got something more now to uh, munch on and to think on. Take your time, okay? Find your sacred space and follow your intuition. Your feelings do not leave you in the lurch. There could be somebody jealous trying to break you up. This could also be a mother-in-law or a mother or a sister. Uh, could, I've got a feeling it's more of a woman or a friend than, um, than uh, your partner. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Remember, don't sign any contracts until the 1st of November, preferably. If you have to, then get them checked out by professionals. Okay. That said, we are in Scorpio, so you most probably will be more sensitive in Scorpio if you've got water in the in your chart. But it is a very spiritual and sensual um, uh, sign and also empathic we're going on to Hall Halloween so if you have lost somebody they could be um, connecting with you so here again you've got the owl listen use your wisdom and sit in quiet in nature and listen to what is being told okay that could be somebody that you loved and respected Remember, they are with you. You are never alone. Take care. Stay safe and be blessed.